Now that we've got this working in our mobile layout, let's go ahead and move to the middle layout. And here, I, so I expanded, and now we're at this middle size layout. And it's dropping down here, which is not exactly what we want. What we want to do is to come out here to the side. So there's a few things that will change, and these changes we're going to make inside the app media rule for the medium size. So in here, I'm going to make it, I want to play with the uh, flyout layout, flyout content first. So inside the nav, I have a class flyout content. Okay, so add a style tool for this. And first, I'm going to put the display to block. And I'm going to do this just temporarily because I want to watch what happens as I position it. So there it is. That's where it is and where it will be when we hover. But now I can see what I'm doing. Now I want to decide how do I want to change this. Well, the way I want to change this is I want to say where I want it. And I'm going to use absolute positioning to do that. So I'm going to set the position to absolute. Now, the problem with that is what is it going to be absolute to? And I want it to be absolute based on uh, the flyout. on that flyout div. So I'm going to set the position of that so that it'll be re relative to that. And I'm going to set that to relative. Okay, now my absolute will work the way I want it. So we save that and we refresh. Oh, now notice some of the things that have changed. Now the width becomes an issue. So we're going to go ahead and say, oh, we really want this how wide do we want these? Well, right now we just we have it at 100% is what we had it before. So let's just go ahead and add that and see what that looks like. So there it is, 100%. Now I want to specify, remember with absolute, that you can specify how the top and the left positions. So I want to put the left some distance over. So I want to move it over from the left. But I have to decide how far to move it over. Well, if you watch as I resize this, those A links actually get change different sizes. So I don't have a way to specify how far to move it over because it might be a different size at any time. So I'm going to make a change to the style of this so that it's more workable for what I want. So instead of having that width be 100%, and I'm going to do this on all the nav. I'm going to do it on the nav A. In fact, I'm going to go up and just get a copy. Because if you remember, it's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to do this on all of them, including the links and the buttons. Instead of being 100%, let's go ahead and give it an actual width. And then it'll be constant, so then I can work with my absolute positioning to work with that. So if I say, well, just always have them be 220 pixels when they're in that middle size. So now as I stay within that middle size and expand and reduce, it stays at 220 pixels. And now I can say left. Now I can get rid of this width too because it's going to pick that up, the width right there. So let's see if we can keep that there. And sure enough, so that's going to work. So I can get rid of that. But now I can say left, so move over to the left, 220 pixels. And let's see what happens. And there it is. It moved over to the left, 220 pixels. And now I want to move from the top. And here I actually want zero because it needs to be, right now it's just going down below, but I want it to be zero from the top of this flyout div, right? So it's zero from the top. So there I have it where I want. Now I want to change something here. These round going together don't look really good, so I'm going to square these out. Let's go ahead and make them square and they'll sit out nicer. But before we do that, let's go ahead and hide this except when we're hovering. So instead of displaying block, I'm just going to remove that. Remember that we had it already working from the previous style. So if we remove that override, then we go back to where we had it 
The display was none until we hovered over that flyout, and then it comes up. Okay, so now we've got it coming up when we want, and we've got it in the right position. So let's just play with that style a little bit. So I'm going to change the style on the nav, the dot flyout content, the A. So this is on the A in here. That's where that border radius was. So I'm going to do the border radius, but I want to do the top left. So the top left radius, and I want to set it to zero. And then I want to do the border bottom left. And I also want it to be zero. Okay, so if we refresh that, now when we hover, notice that those left, top and bottom lefts are, don't have a border radius. They have a border radius of zero. Now I want to do the same thing to the button. But I only want the button, notice on these ones, they're hidden, so they're actually square all the time, but it doesn't matter because they're hidden when they're not hovering. But on this one, we only want to change it when we hover. So this is going to be nav, and it's going to be on the dot fly out and only on when it hovers. And we're going to be changing the style on the button. And so we're going to do that same thing, but now we're going to do the border top right and set it to zero and the border bottom right and set it to zero. We save that and refresh. Now when we hover over, they line up together. So there. Now we have this flyout menu working on the medium size layout.